to Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro are official, promising the usual design, camera and performance refinements we've come to expect from any annual phone update. But Google handsets are all about the software, and the Pixel 8's suite of AI-powered image editing features are some of the most groundbreaking we've seen on a phone, in ways that range from useful to a bit eerie. Wondering if this year's Pixel devices are worth the upgrade? Here's what we think after some early hands-on time with Google's new phones. Google Pixel 8. Google. The Google Pixel 8 packs faster performance, a brighter display and a wealth of interesting AI-powered camera features. From $699 at Amazon. From $699 at Best Buy. Google Pixel Pro 8. Google. If you want a larger display, more advanced cameras and a nicer matte design, go with the Pixel 8 Pro from $999 at Amazon, from $999 at Best Buy, Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro release date and pre-orders. The Pixel 8 range is available for pre-order now and will launch on October 12th, starting at $699 for the Pixel 8 and $999 for the Pixel 8 Pro. Pre-ordering the Pixel 8 through Google will net you a free pair of Pixel Buds Pro, while doing the same for the Pixel 8 Pro will get you the brand new Pixel Watch 2. Two attractive designs, but the Pro's is better. CNN. The Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro look a whole lot like the Pixel 7 we got last year, though there are a few welcome refinements. Both phones appear to have slightly softer edges than before, and were comfortable to hold during my limited hands-on time. However, the large aluminum bar on the back that houses the camera still isn't my favorite, especially now that the camera modules are even bigger than before. Still, the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro are a relatively clean, attractive pair of Android phones, and they each come in a nice set of colors, obsidian, hazel and rose for the Pixel 8, and obsidian, porcelain and bay for the Pixel 8 Pro. My favorites were the Rose Pixel 8 which should fare well against the pink iPhone 15 and complement any barbiecore look, and the Bay Pixel 8 Pro, which boasts a nice baby blue hue. Props to Google for recognizing that Pro phones should also come in fun colors get with it, Apple. The company's even dropping a new Bay-colored set of Pixel Buds Pro to match the Pixel 8 Pro's airy new hue. CNN. As nice as both phones looked, I much preferred having the Pixel 8 Pro in my hands, thanks to its new matte finish. On top of offering a better grip, this matte backing made the phone less prone to glare and fingerprints, two things I appreciated as I snapped photos of it. The standard Pixel 8 retains the same glossy finish as older models, and while this won't matter to most folks, especially if you're using a case, I'm a much bigger fan of the matte smudge-proof designs that have been adopted by the Galaxy S23, the iPhone 15 and now the Pixel 8 Pro. A range of useful new features, including some wild AI stuff. CNN. Pixel phones have always focused on useful software and good photography over sheer horsepower, and the Pixel 8's a camera and AI features are some of Google's most promising yet. The phone's camera specs sound mostly similar to last year's on paper, save for an upgraded ultra-wide lens on the 8 Pro, but both are promising some big improvements to the shooting experience. The Pixel 8 finally gets the Pro's macro focus mode, which allows you to capture those minute details up close. Google says the 8 Pro will deliver improved low-light photos and better zoom as well as night sight video, which brings the company's superb nighttime image enhancement to video for the first time. But the real magic happens once you start editing your images. We've long been fans of Google's Magic Eraser feature, which allows you to get rid of unwanted photo bombers in your photos, and now the company is taking that idea to a new level with its new Magic Editor that lets you manipulate virtually any part of your shot to dramatic results. We got to see a demo of Magic Editor in action, and it's truly wild, in ways that are both cool and kind of creepy. Zero hundred. In one demonstration, a Google rep pulled up a pretty innocuous picture of a person running on a beach. They then were able to highlight said person, and freely move and resize them around the beach, all without making the picture look visibly distorted or very obviously edited. They were also able to run the image through a number of filters, which did everything from alter the time of day to turn the entire photo into something out of a Japanese manga illustration.
All of these effects processed near instantly right within Google's own Photos app, which bodes well for Google's AI chops as well as the new Tensor G3 processor in these phones, and could be bad news for third-party image editing apps. CNN. Have you